Vooch, if you had a nickel for every time Kyrie Irving was in the headlines, non-basketball related, how many nickels would you have? I mean, a really, shit ton of nickels. season alone, at least a couple bucks. Uh, dude, what is going on with this guy? I, I, I truly don't get why. I mean, specifically the timing of this quote, this new quote that comes out that basketball isn't important to him or the most important to him in a time like this. The Nets just clinching the second seed. And now you say eh, basketball, eh, whatever. Are you kidding? Kyrie? Are you kidding? Kyrie? I don't even listen. I didn't even like this guy to start. I thought he was a clown show. I mean, look, he's making. I know I'm just like totally raining the, the the microphone here. But look, the guy's a clown show. He's trying to be a humanitarian. I get it. There's there's definitely good ways to be that spokesperson. There's definitely good ways to do it. This guy's taking off for his you birthday. Can't, you can't you can't talk Palestine and Israel <laughs> to the NBA beat writers if you want to talk about. Diplomacy and war and, and conflict. All that good stuff. There's plenty of networks to do that. There's plenty of platforms to do it. Go on your social media. And honestly, it comes off as selfish. And I don't mean that in a sense Absolutely. where a guy's talking about world issues and, and you know, he, that's not selfish. The idea that he has teammates that are trying to win a championship and that he's paid a ton of money to go talk to this these media members. Right. That's, that's what your job is. I don't get to come to work and... And not do what I want to do because there's something going on in my personal life or in someone else's personal life for that matter. Nothing to do with you. you this guy's changing up. religions midweek, looking like the monk from anger management. I, want to stress, though, <laughs> I don't have an issue with Kyrie and and his off the court drive. I, I guess you could call it. Save that shit for off the court, Gooch. By you were trying to win a title, and now this latest bombshell that he drops on the beat writers comes right before the playoffs. The reason being is he knows how the media is going to spin it. Of course, you're too smart, Kyrie. You're a Duke graduate. Supposedly Does that make him smart? smart? Does no, that make him smart? I don't think. Yeah, he thinks, oh, he's a flat earther. My God, this guy. Dude, Kyrie, do yourself a favor. Like, I'm not going to be that stick to basketball guy because I am not that guy. But my man, the Nets, when you guys play together, you look incredible. That team on their season finale were doing things that you see in the all-star game. Okay. And I'm not going to be one of Mr. You know, shut up and dribble. I, I totally get what you're, where you're coming from, but just, just know, no, know what you're talking about. You're talking about, you know, humanitarian and, and human rights, but the NBA is in bed with China. The, the Nets want nothing <laughs> to kidding? do with Russell Westbrook and the Wizards. Oh, the baby. So we're going to end it on that. Yeah, we they will want end nothing on that. to do with my boy, Russ. Russ is going to drop a triple double on that team every single night. Kyrie, get your head out of the gutter and back on the hardwood. Let's go. Grr.